Hi and welcome to another shirt of the day and as it's a Friday we're again looking at the clearance range here at classicfootballshirts.co.uk. Now you might think that we only deal with the big teams from around the world but every shirt today comes from the Ukraine. As in we literally got them from the Ukraine itself. Classic Football Shirts braved a long and difficult journey to bring you stock not normally seen outside the club shops such as these 2013-2014 Metalist Kharkiv home and away shirts. Due to the Maidan revolution in 2013 happening right on the club's doorstep, the Ukrainian league was suspended for a short time that year, and these shirts were difficult to see, not least because once the league resumed, all domestic games in Ukraine were played behind closed doors. But this shirt, which the club battled to third spot in in that difficult season, was based on the 2013 Adidas Campion template, and is available in standard fit, player issue, and with or without sponsors Vetek. And when you think of Ukraine, you have to think of Andrei Shevchenko, the all-time leading goalscorer for his country. And we have a range of Dynamo Kiev player issue shirts, such as this very stylish 2010 to 2012 long sleeve home shirt worn by Shevchenko on his return to the club. And these are direct from the Dynamo kit room and feature, brilliantly, Shevchenko's name spelled out in Cyrillic as worn in domestic competitions with the official flock felt material print, which was pretty common in the 1990s, as was the 2008 font used by Adidas that the team uses to the present day but this gives the shirt a real retro feel, popular with the fans. This just hasn't been available outside of the Dynamo kit room. And the last shirt Shevchenko ever wore was the Adidas Ukraine home in a controversial defeat to England during Euro 2012. And Adidas pulled the stops out for this utterly unique shirt, featuring specific Ukrainian symbols of their history and culture, such as their national emblem in a band across the front of the shirt, as well as incorporating the lighter blue of the country flag in the colouring too. But this was a real break from the standard template kits they'd had in the years before. It's a shame they didn't go Ukraine as they crashed out early of their first European Championships, but it was a decent tournament for them in a hard group. And we have both the home and away, also available in tech fit and full motion variants, and of course you can get it with the official player printing. Don't forget to check out the clearance range on the website as you'll find many more items you just won't find anywhere else, such as these Ukrainian League sponsor patches which can be affixed to your favourite Ukrainian shirt. And of course on Fridays we run a competition for you to win a shirt, but first let's announce last week's winners. Congratulations to Mark Barlow, Joe Dero and Neen Crochet. We've already got in touch with you about how to get your shirt, and this week we are giving away one of each of these three shirts away to three lucky winners. All you need to do to win is... Subscribe to this YouTube channel, share it by clicking the share button beneath this very video, and comment beneath this video as to which shirt you'd like to win. Metalist, Dynamo or National. And we're actually extending our competitions for a full week, so you have until next Friday to apply to win one of these three shirts, and we'll announce the winner in next Friday's shirt of the day. And don't forget, all you need to do to win one of these three shirts is subscribe, share, and comment as to which one you'd like to win, and we'll see you on the next shirt of the day.